Hey, what's up guys? We got a fun one for you today. Today we will be discussing Dimplex's top three electric luxury fireplaces that we sell in the luxury category. A lot of people ask, which one should you buy? So that's what we're gonna talk about. So should you buy the Dimplex Optimist or the ever so popular Dimplex Ignite XL or the big dog, the Dimplex Opta V? Let's get started. So we talked about, we showed you these three fireplaces. Now the reason we showed you these is in the luxury category and the linear style, these are the three most popular, the best selling Dimplex fireplaces that we sell. But a lot of customers ask which one you should buy. And the reason we wanted to do this video is they're all three of them are using three totally different technologies. So we wanna explain the technology that's being used. And then we want, I wanted to tell you what I like about them and what I don't like about it because we always give transparent, honest reviews because uh, I'll even tell you things I don't like about these products even though we sell them. So let's start with the Optimist. Now this one here, this is just my opinion, so don't eat me alive when uh, you don't agree with me in the comments, what you're gonna do. Um, this one here is my personal favorite. The reason it's my favorite is it's, to me, I think it most clearly resembles a gas fireplace, which I'm a big fan of gas fireplaces. And because it's the only one that actually gives us a three-dimensional flame. So for me, it's my favorite. Now, some of my pros with it before we get started uh, with the things that I love about it is, uh, or some of the cons, I should say, some of the things I'm not crazy about um, is it, it's a little more finicky because let's talk about the technology a little bit. So this is essentially a humidifier in here with LED lighting. So you can see, we'll give you some close-up shots. Um, this is a humidifier with LED lighting. So that flame is actually mist that's using colored LED lights to show, showcase the mist. And it does a really good job of resembling flame. Now, why do I say that it's testy? Well, it's a humidifier in there. So there, there's moving parts in the sense that, um, you know, you have water to deal with. So water could be a variable. So depending on your location, if you're dealing with hard water, you could get buildup on there. So you may have to clean out the tanks a little bit more regularly. You can fill up regular tanks or you can run a water line to this unit. If you run a water line though, you need a filter if you're dealing with hard water. So it's just something you have to pay a little more attention to. Um, not a huge deal because, you know, let's say you have a gas or wood fireplace, you're dealing with all sorts of moving parts that you gotta pay attention to. It's just most of the electric fireplace consumers are used to uh, zero maintenance. So this is not a zero maintenance fireplace, although the maintenance is relatively low. The other thing is, like I said, it's a humidifier. So what if you live in like Florida? I mean, would you want an extra humidifier in Florida? 100% no. I mean, I don't even know how you guys in Florida deal with the humidity already. We live in Colorado, so here in Denver, it's perfectly fine because it's so dry here at altitude, the humidity is no problem. So if you're in a really high humid area and it's not seasonal, this may be a situation, may, may not be the right choice for you because you don't wanna be dumping humidity in the middle of summer or even in the middle of winter if it's still muggy, no thanks. Not for me, but maybe, maybe you guys differ, but I'm not a fan of humidity. Why put more into the room? Um, but that's just a personal preference. Outside of that, uh, I can't find a, a lot of things I don't like about it. Uh, depth could be an issue. This is the depth of a regular fireplace. And so you have to be able to build around it and accommodate it like you would a gas fireplace. So that I guess suppose is, is one little hang up. Um, but that's sort of to me the price you pay if you want a nice three dimensional flame. You, you can't achieve that without depth. You just can't do it. So that's why it's so deep. Now let's talk about what I like. So what I like is Dimplex is investing a lot into the R&D department into this technology. So right now, this is a 40 inch model, orange flame only. Um, you can do log sets or crushed glass if you want something super contemporary. You can take the back panel off and it's gonna become a see-through fireplace. And up until just recently, that was the only SKU available, is just this 40 inch box. And so initially it had its limitations, but Dimplex has come out with a 60 inch model, so now we can go bigger, especially if you're doing a TV above it, you're gonna want the space. 
And then what's really cool is we're gonna see to market here in the very new future. You can check out my video. I got to check out one of the prototypes at one of the shows. Uh, go ahead and check that out. I'll include a link uh, in the video up here. But check that out. It has a new multicolor LED. So if you're super into the modern feel, um, those LED colors that change these flames look super, super cool. I thought it looked pretty rad, but um, that's just me. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on that. And so you can tell that they'll be developing this product and there'll be a lot of features to really uh, accessorize any home, I would say. So they're really going good places with this, um, but it may not be for everybody because it's also very expensive. So it's gonna be more in the price range of a gas fireplace. So I'm talking a lot, way too much. Here's the pros. Very realistic, um, very three-dimensional, and it really resembles a real fireplace more than anything. One thing I forgot to mention, it has a heater and uh, noise crackling, so you can turn that off or on if you want. So a lot of features, and the biggest one being that it, the flame actually looks like real fire. The cons are it's, it requires a little more maintenance. It may not be the right fit for you depending on your climate. It's expensive and it takes up a lot of depth. So there you go. All right, let's move on to the Opta-V and talk about that technology. Okay, so this is the Opta-V. Now, this is also a very realistic fireplace. I actually think in certain angles and certain lighting, it could potentially look the most realistic. Um, so let's talk about the technology, and then I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. So essentially, you can see it's sort of open, and we have a, a, a glass panel here, and it's sort of going up at a 45 degree angle. Now, if you look, you can actually see logs. Those are actually real three-dimensional logs that are in here. But then, if you look on the back screen here, you see, see we also have like a flame. What that is, that's a high-def monitor flame that's sort of transparent. And then back in behind it, we have more logs. So it's really cool. I actually love the technology because I think that it is really resembling a real fireplace in the sense fires always come up out of the middle of the logs. So you have log, flame, log, and you're actually creating that depth. But how do they get those logs back there? So bring the camera up here. I'm gonna let you in a little trade secret here. See these logs? They're in the ceiling of the fireplace. So for example, see that back log right here? See how my hand's on it? Well, my hand's obviously really up here. So outside of that, I don't know exactly how they get it reflected back there. Probably some sort of voodoo magic or something. I don't know. Um, I'm not a scientist or anything. I just know it's really cool. Um, but I love the technology. I got a really funny story for you. So I was at a trade show showing this off one time and this one guy was just so amazed by this thing. He's like, how, how do they get the logs to look three dimensional in between fire? And I told him, so the logs are actually in the ceiling. <laughs> and we're in this big, big trade show. And he, with big ceilings like this, and he looked up in the ceiling of the convention center, and he was looking for the logs of the fireplace. And then I felt embarrassed to tell him, no, <laughs> I didn't want to make him sound, feel stupid. I didn't want to tell him the logs are actually in the ceiling of the fireplace. I'm sidetracking, it's not important. Um, so that's the technology. No heat with this guy, and then it does have sound. We can control the sound in here and the brightness level. So if you don't like the sound, you can turn the sound off. Comes with a remote, so you can do all that on a remote control if you want. So that's the technology behind it. Let's start with what I love. I love the technology. I think the technology has a ton of potential. In fact, at trade shows, I've seen prototypes. The technology's there to do really, really awesome stuff with. In fact, you can check out my video. They even dabbled in the technology in a, in a fish tank. So what they would do is have artificial fish as on the LED monitors, and then actual three-dimensional plants throughout the tank. The tank. Um, it looks really cool. So the, the possibilities with this fireplace are endless. You could do square, you could do tall, you could do modern style. You could do a lot with it. So I actually love the technology. I love the way it looks. What do I hate about it? Pretty much everything else. <laughs> I hate everything else about it. Um, no, the issue is, is uh, I hate the price. It's very expensive, and we don't like having to charge our consumers that much, but if you love the technology and you have the money to spend, 
uh, check it out. It's awesome, but it, it, it's expensive. And so to me, it, it's too expensive for the category of luxury. It, it's way beyond luxury. It's way beyond that. It goes too far. So they need to figure out a way to get the price down. Um, the second thing that I don't like about it is everything I just talked about, the fish tank. I've been at trade shows. They've, they've showed us uh, uh, launches of, of potential opportunities with this technology, different concepts, different configurations where you could use actual real logs, things like that. Um, none of it, none of it. I have not seen, this product came out, I don't know, you could watch my original video, which I'll include below as well. I did that original video five or six years ago, uh, easy. Maybe longer, probably longer than that actually. Um, and they, since then, the SKU has not changed. This is, remember, you're dealing with electri electrical things. You're telling me in five or six years, you don't have better technology available or better ways to improve this thing. It's been the same SKU for too long. So it's getting long in the tooth. I've seen the potential of this technology. None of it is to market right now. So that's just an inside tip. You, the consumer, would never know that. You would never know that there's underdeveloped use of this technology, but I'm telling you there is, and I would love to see it come to market. Also, I hate the limitations on size. So you can essentially, this is a 50 inch, but again, we're only dealing with, I think it's 10 inches or so, um, just off the top of my head. And you can order it as a 50 inch or a short little two, like halvesy. But I mean, you're gonna spend three, four grand for a fireplace this size, I mean, Come on, are you kidding me? No way, not me. Um, and then also the other thing I don't like, it. this is called the Duet. So you can see it's essentially a duplication of this side. So it's a, they're essentially doing the exact same thing. Not largely noticeable until I probably just told you, whoops, shouldn't have told you that. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just a little played out. Um, I would anticipate in the next year or two, we're gonna see something really cool with this technology, but it's just, it's not this. So, if you love it, I don't mean to upset you. If you already have one, sorry, but uh, it's awesome, don't get me wrong, but I think there's gonna be cooler stuff out there. But if, if you love it and you have the money to spend, get it. And there's nothing wrong with it. I don't have any complaints. Any of my customers, they don't complain about it. It's a cool unit. I just think there's better stuff out there. That's just me though. All right, let's move on to the Dimplex Ignite XL, which is our best seller. Okay guys, so this is the Dimplex Ignite XL. Um, we, I saved this one for last because this one is our best seller. This is the one consumers buy the most of. But let, before we get into that, let's start with the technology. This one has the simplest technology in it in the sense that it's using LED lighting. But what Dimplex did is um, what made this such a good seller is they didn't just do LED lighting with a rolling light that sort of just goes everywhere. You've noticed in my other videos, which I'll, again, I'll include videos in full in-depth reviews of all of these if you wanna check them out. But essentially the LEDs are sort of rolling upwards and if you take this apart, there's almost like a stencil back there. And so what that does is it, it, keeps, it keeps a contrast, I think, because you have a dark backdrop with bright lights running through it. So it's, it's a very two-dimensional flame but it's not just your everyday LED. Oh, it's using LEDs. No, it's more than that. Um, but it's, it's using an LED, for lack of a better term, technology behind this guy. Um, so it's a basic in that sense. So let's start with what I don't like. Well, you probably notice in this shot, you can barely see me, which isn't a bad thing because the focus is supposed to be on the fireplaces. We have to turn the lights down because this one has the most reflection to it. Now that's not a bad thing in the sense the, the reflection sort of accomplishes good things too. So that reflection is what gives us a sense of depth. For example, come in here close Elijah so we can show everyone this. So see these rocks and then see the flame. And then what do you see behind that? Do you see more rocks, right? Do you see it Elijah? You see the mm -hmm. rocks? Yeah, you see it. So that's not real rocks. That's just the reflection of the backside and they've obviously understood by studying fire is that fire comes up out of the middle. And so they've accomplished that and so that reflection does a really good job with that. The problem is, is when the lights are on, it can be a little bit bright. We'll give you, a, when we're done, we'll give you an overhead shot just to show you, just so you know. 
So if it's in a really, really bright room and you plan on turning it on a lot during the day with a ton of windows, it doesn't look bad. But if you run it during the day, of course, most people are using the ambiance of a fireplace in the evening anyways. Once it's dark, doesn't matter. It looks great anyways. That's the really the biggest negative. Uh, if I had one more negative, it would be that it's using LED technology as great as it is. Um, it just doesn't give us that 3D feel like a real fireplace. But that's okay because a lot of people are going for something a little more modern and contemporary, which this fits the bill. Now, the con, or the pros, I should say. Well, the pro, I just said the LED lights are a con. The pro of the LED light concept is this technology allows us to get the cost down. So this is probably the most reasonable as far as a affordability standpoint. Um, it's the most affordable in this luxury class of electric fireplaces. So it allows for affordability and the LED lights allow for flexibility. So this offers us the most amount of sizes. So for based on your needs, you can get this in a ton of different sizes, 50, 60, 74, and 100 inch. So we have four sizes to choose from. Um, also, because it's LED technology, it's only using six inches of depth. So that means we don't have to build out a whole room into our fireplace. We can build it into a two by four wall with a trim kit, or we can only frame out six inches and build one of these in, and then we're golden. So it's the easiest to install out of all of them. So it's affordable, easy to install, and then also it has the best heater. So the heater's really quiet on this, so if you need a heater, check this out. It's got uh, some ceramic in it, and it's variable speed, so it's, it's more energy efficient, and you can hook it up to 240 volts for even extra heat, so it has the best heater in it. And then um, I would say it's the most contemporary out of them all. For example, I can toggle through the ember bed, so I, you can get this to fit your particular needs. And then also it has the best warranty. So all the other Dimplexes have a two year, has a five year. So a lot to like with this fireplace. Best warranty, best heater, most affordable, easiest to install. Do I need to keep going? LED lights, uh, it, uh, you know, it uh, blows up uh, animal balloons for your kids. No, it doesn't do that. Uh, so yeah, it's really cool. And it, that's why I think it's our best sellers. It sort of checks all the boxes, so to speak. So that's the Dimplex Ignite XL. Okay, so there's the three models. Hopefully that's gonna clear everything up. Now again, the reason for this video is we talk, I talk to customers on the phone every day that are trying to buy a Dimplex fireplace. The problem is that sometimes they can't pull the trigger because they don't know what they want. Usually what happens is they start with the Ignite XL, then they see the, the Optimist, and they see the Opti-V, and they start saying, is it worth the extra money to jump up to these options? But they, they have a hard time finding it in showrooms or they can't find, talk to someone who's educated enough about the product. So that's why we do these videos, is to help you, make it easier for you. If you thought this, is e if you thought this was helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. We thank you guys for following us. It helps us out a ton. Every time you do that, it just builds momentum that we can keep doing these educational videos for you. Don't forget if you're in the Denver metro area, come down to our showroom. You can see these exact models in person for yourself and compare the, the different options. So again, just as a quick review, these are our three best sellers in the Dimplex linear category with the Optimist, Opti-V, and Ignite XL. We shared with you the different technologies. I was honest with you. I told you guys what I didn't like about all of them. I told you what I, lo I loved about them. There's things I like about every one of these models. So if you're interested in any of our other comparisons between other brands, that's on our channel. So you guys gotta subscribe. We'll include some links below. Check that out. Thanks so much, you guys, for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more.